everybody. I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about your research questions. So on the whole, I was really impressed and I really liked them. Most of them were broad and that's not necessarily a problem in this very early draft stage, but they would need to be narrowed down as you worked. Let me give you an example. Many people use the question, in what way does social media affect teenagers' lives? But he, that is a very broad question that could be approached in a lot of different ways. What type of social media are we talking about? Um, are we talking about one type of social media? Are we talking about um, TikTok or Instagram in particular? Um, <clears throat> what kind of teens are we talking about? Are we talking about um, any particular group of teenagers? Are we talking about um, young teenagers, older teenagers, are we talking about homeschooled teenagers? It could be any specific group um, that might make this more specific. One of the most important, most natural ways to narrow it down would probably be to talk about um, in what way are we asking um, if social media affects teenagers? Are we talking about if social media affects their self-image or their body image? Are we talking about if social media affects their attention span? Does social media affect um, their sleep patterns, right? Are we all staying up too late scrolling instead of getting sleep? Does social media um, change the way we interact with each other in person? Those are all very different questions, all of which could lead to great research papers. Um, the reason it's okay to start broad is that you don't necessarily know which part is most interesting or sometimes even know what deeper questions there are until you do a little bit of research. Um, a lot of times a mistake students make is thinking that research is a set thing you do and then it's done, but a research project is really um, involves lots of different stages of research and you have to keep going back and doing a little bit more reading as you learn more and more. So if you took that topic, how does social media affect teens, you would start by just searching social media and teens and you'd read enough to figure out what um, subtopic, what specific part of that question is most interesting to you. And that would lead you to one of those more narrow questions. For example, how does social media affect the body image of teen boys, for example? Um, and then you would use new search tools or rather use the same search tools in new ways to narrow down the sources you're looking at finding more specific sources that are specific to your topic. Um, so it really is a multi-step process and um, where we revise the research question multiple times, where we do research multiple times, we keep going back and finding more information and narrowing down information as we refine what we're doing, what we're looking for, and as we better understand our topic.